Hi, my name is Terry Dolan, and I have the honor of serving as the president of the American College of Dentists. And today we're honoring a very special recipient of the William J. Guys Award, the highest honor offered by the American College of Dentists. Dr. Leo Rouse has been committed to the dental profession since the third grade when his family dentist became his role model. Since then, his energies have been devoted to the profession. Dr. Rouse has contributed in many ways as a clinician, an educator, a mentor, an army officer, a leader, and a strong voice for the profession. His experience of having a strong role model instilled in Dr. Rouse the importance of mentorship and taking time to instill in others the joy of dentistry and helping others. When Dr. Rouse speaks, people listen. He has used this gift to advocate for dentistry, whether in the armed services, dental education, or the profession as a whole. Dr. Rouse's career started in the military, first as a captain in the Army Dental Corps. Eventually, he rose to the rank of colonel and served in several leadership positions, including Commander-in-Chief Operating Officer of the U.S. Dental Command. His service has been recognized by his many awards, including the Legion of Merit, the Meritorious Service Medal, the Army Achievement Medal, the National Defense Medical Award, the Army Service Medal, and Army Overseas Medal. After leading in the armed services, Dr. Rouse joined Howard University, where he served as Associate Dean for Clinical Affairs and Chair of Clinical Dentistry. He was appointed as the Interim Dean of Howard University College of Dentistry in 2003 and was then awarded the Deanship in 2004. Dr. Rouse retired in 2015, and his distinguished service to Howard University was recognized by the awarding of emeritus dean status. Dr. Rouse is a leader among leaders. His leadership acumen is widely recognized throughout the dental community. He was recognized by his peers with his election as chairman of the board of directors for the American Dental Education Association, an organization which serves as the voice for more than 25,000 dental and allied dental education students, faculty, and staff. He also served uh, as president of this organization, a leadership position which is the pinnacle leadership position of our profession. His exemplary service to the profession has been recognized by numerous awards, including the ADEA Distinguished Service Award, the ADA Distinguished Service Award, the Legend and Trailblazer Awards from the National Dental Association, and an honorary Doctor of Humane Letters from Western University of Health Sciences. Dr. Rouse has positively impacted the lives and careers of thousands of dental students, dentists, and allied dental professionals. He is most deserving of this distinguished award. And so it's my pleasure, Dr. Rouse, to present you with this distinguished honor. If you would please step up. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you gave me the order. <laughs> <laughs> to my oh. dear colleague, friend, Jersey, <laughs> a favorite Jersey City native, and someone who's contributed so much to the profession over the years, Dr. Leo Rouse. Thank you, Terry. Oh, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take this and so, please share some words with us. Oh, boy. Thank you, Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Terry. Wow. I am I'm humbled, first of all, and those of you who know me personally, uh, I don't like to be recognized. I always use the term or expression when I get an, an award presented to me. Everyone in the room are my credentials, which means what? I stand on the shoulders of giants. And this board has been one of my most memorable assignments in terms of what I've done for the ACD for many, many years. And to look at all these wonderful faces, all, all friends, and to really, Robert Lamb, I'm sorry I missed your meeting in Houston, but thank you for your leadership. And Terry, again, my home girl. <laughs> I'm humbled. Why? Because those of you who know me, I spend a lot of time thinking about the profession of dentistry. I'm basically very much in tune to how we can integrate oral health care and primary health care. 
That's what I like to do. When I was president of the deer, I essentially succeeded Sandra Andrew. You, some of you may know Sandra. Uh, and we got into this discussion about IPE <clears throat> and collaborative practice. And that's what I spend a lot of my time doing now in reading. Um, this is a great board, you know, and I want to again welcome Mike Graham here. Mike, I've known you for a few moons. Um, but more importantly, the leadership in this room is just awesome. And I can tell you, when you nominate fellows for the future, look at your colleagues in your regencies and really give them a good look over because you want to have folks that understand the values of the American College, ethics, professionalism, leadership. You want talented men and women to be a part of this organization. And so I've been blessed to lead a distinguished group of wonderful men and women, colleagues, as I refer to you as, all of you, and please forgive me, I'm standing here. I left my WD-40 in the car. I wanted to give a little <laughs> to, my, to my right hip. <laughs> but the weather is interesting. My mom always said, you know, and this for full disclosure, some of you knew I had back surgery and uh, two years ago, or whatever it was, three years ago. And I remember Robert Lamb kind of dragging me out of the auditorium here in Rockville. I forget where it was, Susan to get me back to the hotel to get in bed because I'm falling apart. <laughs> and, uh, but more importantly, uh, I'm humbled, Terry. Uh -huh. I, I really didn't have a prepared speech, but I do know we need to continue to work for the profession. It's so important. And, you know, don't take it lightly. Uh, this college means a lot. The conscious of dentistry. At Adir, we were the voice of dental education. And you know, you gotta understand, we are family. So let's keep it moving. Thank you so much for the opportunity to receive this award. Susan, where are you? There you are, way back. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Susan, for really just, you make sure you get there, Dr. Rouse. <laughs> okay? <laughs> As you know, Susan, we've been buddies for a long time. But I wish you all a wonderful meeting. Uh, I have to get downtown a little bit. I want to hear Veronica's presentation and her award. I just met her today, another homegirl from New Jersey, and a wonderful spouse, they're a wonderful partner. Uh, that's how you meet people, events like this. And to hear their stories. And so I'm very privileged and proud, and especially to have you and Robert Lamb here and the rest of this board. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Paul. Thank you. Leo, first of all, very much congratulations to you. Thank and it's you. a wonderful award and it's very much deserved. And um, we're all very proud of you and proud to know you and, and thankful for your work through your career. So thank, thank you, you very, very much. much thank you. Thank you. Now it's my pleasure. Um, to honor and, and recognize Dr. Veronica Bukowski. Um, she is here to receive the ACD Outstanding Service Award. Uh, we're very honored that, that she would come. Dr. Veronica Bukowski, inspired by Drs. Justin Stone and Sidney Whitman during her residency program at Newark Beth Israel Medical Center, that's called NBIMC, uh, began devoting her Thursdays to providing operating room, operating room dentistry for special needs patients. That was only the beginning. By 1983, Dr. Bukowski was appointed to the, the, position, excuse me, to the position of principal clinician and directing partner of the Beth Dental Group, a successful urban practice group funded by a grant from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. In this role, Dr. Bukowski was responsible for the operating room dentistry at NBIMC. Over the course of the next four decades, Dr. Bukowski provided dental care for many of New Jersey's underserved and special needs patients. 
two groups who are tragically neglected in our society, as we know. Not only did Dr. Bukowski provide life-changing oral health care for this population, as Dr. Clifford Lisman wrote in his letter supporting Dr. Bukowski's nomination, she simultaneously supervised and trained scores of dental residents in the procedures she performed. Dr. Bukowski has effectively created a cadre of well-prepared dental providers with the knowledge, heart, and will to serve these populations. In 1983, Dr. Bukowski was awarded the Dentist of the Year Award at the New Jersey State Annual Session. Dr. Bukowski continues her service to the special needs patients today, 40 years later. While this ongoing service would be more than deserving of this recognition, Dr. Bukowski also set up an on-site dental health care a, a facility to provide oral health care sorry, for the residents of Lester Senior Housing at the other end of the age spectrum. She has also been actively involved in the dental screenings and treatment of the Newark preschool's children. Dr. Bukowski's work is not confined to the United States. On five different service tours, she has provided dental care for the Free Children's Clinic in Jerusalem, Israel. This outstanding body of work has not gone unnoticed. Dr. Bukowski has been recognized with the New Jersey Dentist of the Year Award, Dr. Rebecca Friedlander Award, President George Bush's Point of Light, the New Jersey Governor's Jefferson Award for Public Service, and the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award from the New Jersey Dental Association for Community Service. In 1983, as ADA President Burton Press awarded Dr. Bukowski for her amazing work, he said, and I quote, her compassion has enriched the lives of many special people. Her compassion concerning commitment reflects the highest ethical and humanitarian standards of the dental profession." End quote. Dr. Veronica Bukowski is most deserving of recognition for her outstanding service by the American College of Dentists. Congratulations, Dr. Bukowski. I can't dance the way I did. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we won't ask you to dance. Or maybe, you never know. I feel so honored to be here among so many people has, that, has, that have done so much for the industry. And um, it is an honor to be with my trusty partner here to be uh, accepting of this of this award. Thank you for honoring me for the American College of Dentists Outstanding Service Award. On a personal level, it has been very gratifying to treat all the children and adults that I've treated. to see the, the light in their eyes, to know that someone cares for them has been very, very much stirring to me. I feel as though I accomplished my life's ambition to do service, and that's what I felt I did. Raising children is not easy. But having children with special needs is particularly gratifying and challenging. I accept this honor not only for myself, but all the special needs children that I've treated. And thank you all. Thank you. Congratulations. We're very, very, we're honored to have the opportunity to honor you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you all very much.